Hi guys, it's Frances Colleen here of Busy Violin Learner and today I would just like to show you what's inside my violin case. So just zooming in on my violin case, here I have a Tonarelli violin case which I bought off sale from eBay. It's a wooden violin case. I did quite a bit of research and found that it's still better to go for wood. It's still more durable and there's better temperature control inside. So to cut the long story short, I went for wood. The top compartment can be opened. And in my top compartment, I have the Bow Like a Pro practice plan, which I printed off for my personal reference because I recently grabbed Zlata Brower's uh, Bow Like a Pro membership. So that's that. And here's a practice journal that I made myself because I couldn't find what I wanted in a practice journal when I was looking for one online. And also, I have two pens to write in my practice journal. I don't really use these pens for the pieces. And here in New Zealand, where the weather is more humid than dry, I have these desiccants that you get from medicine bottles. I just keep them here to maybe absorb extra moisture and wick it away off my violin. And I have two violin books here, which to be honest, I haven't really paid much attention to. This is the Sassman's House Violin Recital album for first position, books one and two. It is one of my ultimate goals to play the pieces from these two books. But that's kind of a challenge for me right now because as you know, I don't have a violin teacher. I am just self-learning the violin from internet resources. So that's the top compartment. And I just wanted to show you the front of my case. So it's like magnetic buttons with a latch here that you can lock with a key. And that reveals the navy Tonarelli interior. So I have two bows here. This is um, my older Fiddlerman carbon fiber bow. And this is a Meller Solo Bow that I bought recently off eBay. In case there are some of you out there who are curious about this bow, I haven't seen much information about this bow, so I'm just going to show it to you. So this is the Meller Solo Bow. It's actually a carbon fiber bow. The core is carbon fiber, but the coating outside is Pernambuco. And Instead of the usual round eye on my frog, I opted for a fleur-de-lis because I had that option. That's the usual mother of pearl there at the bottom screw. And it's Mongolian horsehair. I'm very happy with this bow. I think that my violin sounds more resonant when I use this bow over my Fiddlerman bow, which is still a good bow by the way snake-like leather underneath the winding there. It is lighter than my Fiddlerman carbon fiber bow too. And in here we have a string tube, the Adario violin strings in so that it will be nice and straight by the time that I need them. The string tube came with the case and I did buy this case at a discount because one of the screws for the string tube was missing. And this is the hygrometer of my case. And it's a little above normal and it's on the humid part because it's always humid in Auckland, New Zealand where I live. And this is just a cloth that belonged to my old violin case which I don't use anymore, but I kept the cloth because I think that it's nicer than the one that came in with the toner. And going through this compartment on the top, this is where I keep my violin cleaning cloth. This came with 
an old shoulder rest that I used to use which I don't anymore and I have a foam shoulder rest which is as they say the budget version of a coon shoulder rest but for me I think it works just as nicely and in this top compartment belongs the tripod that I'm using now to record this video because I record all of my videos on my smartphone I don't have or use any other fancy equipment so what you hear and see on the cell phone is what you get and onto my other compartment here on the side of the violin I have my newly purchased leatherwood rosin which I just love smelling if you want to find out all about this rosin I made a separate video where I unboxed it and reviewed it and also I have this timer this practice timer here with three four and five minutes and I only ever use this timer when I'm doing violin scales and drills and other exercises that I want to finish off as soon as possible. And I have an eraser here, an Easter egg eraser that I use when I, whenever I mark my pieces with pencil. I just keep it in here. And I have this nail clip which I use more often than I'd like to admit because every time I come to my violin I find that my nails are longer than what it's supposed to be so that's very handy and I have an Artino practice mute here it's rubber on the outside but it's metal on the inside so it's a bit heavy and I just have in this plastic bag I have printed small photos of me and Lindsay Sterling when I went to the Lindsay Sterling concert earlier last year and I went for the VIP meet and greet so that I can see her and get her to autograph my violin and I just have violin labels here because I do rest and work and I'm thinking of a way on how to stick it to my violin and my violin case in case it gets lost and also, last but not the least, I have the extra bit that holds the string tube here in my violin which I haven't found the time and the way on how to put it back so it just stays here in this case. And just behind my violin here is another set of the Adario Prelude strings which I haven't opened and this is just a second set of extra strings that I keep in here and I couldn't bear to part with this thank you note that Andrew Baker from Leatherwood Rosin gave me when I purchased his rosin so it just lives here and then I have another desiccant here I just got this from one of the instruments in the operating theater where I work as a nurse to absorb moisture and keep it away from my violin. I don't know if it helps, but I just keep it here in case it does. Last but not the least, the most important part of my violin case is this violin that I purchased and Lindsay Sterling autographed it here with a gold sharpie which I have coated in resin so this part looks shinier than the rest of the violin I don't know if that devalues my violin a little bit but I couldn't care less um, having her signature here is more valuable to me and I want to take care of that because I don't want it to rub off when I clean my violin I'm not so sure what all the features of my violin are anymore but this is a handmade master build violin and there's a label here on the inside which I don't know if it will show properly on the on the screen anyway I'll just read it to you it says infinite strings maker instruments player Guarneri del Gesù 1740 X Heifetz model and this is a master build violin this is the third violin built in 2017 with the signature of the violin maker from infinite strings i just wanted to get a violin with uh, brown fittings so that's what i have 
And yeah, that's it for what's in my violin case. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next videos to come. Bye!